All right, this is the car OBD MD. I have another video today, and because of the number of questions about car thermostats and how they work and how they fail, how important they are, I'm going to be discussing them today. Now, before I begin, I do want to let you know if you do have any questions, feel free to send me a, a message on YouTube or post on the comments. I'll try and get to every and all questions that are asked. Um, so don't hesitate if you do have any questions. I'll definitely try and get to all of them. And I am going to be posting more as the, as the time continues. So what we have here is an automotive thermostat. Just going to show you all different sides of it. And the purpose of these automotive thermostats is similar to a thermostat in your home. If you can imagine a thermostat in your home is designed to regu regulate the temperature so that you can have it just how you would want it. This does essentially the same thing, but it's based on the temperature of the engine as far as what's best, most optimum, and most efficient for it to run. And that is set by the manufacturer. So this regulates the optimum engine temperature for optimum performance and efficiency. Now what happens is right in here, in this bronze colored piece, this is a, a valve. And inside this valve there's a wax pellet. And when it's cold, you can imagine the wax is hard. So it seals this valve shut. Uh, as the coolant warms up, it starts to heat the wax and melt it, becomes soft, it starts to open and allow coolant to flow. So when you first start your automobile in the morning, this is actually going to be closed. There's no coolant flowing through your motor when it's cold. And that's so that it gets the engine up to optimum and uh, most efficient operating temperature as fast as possible. So as soon as it starts to get close to that temperature, the wax pellet in here will open allowing coolant to start to flow. Now, once that happens, this will keep the temperature in that operating range so that you're operating as efficient as possible so you get the best gas mileage, uh, so your engine runs as, as best as possible and emissions as well. Now, a couple things about these. Uh, the first thing is, this part, this thermostat, they are roughly around two to three dollars to buy and for the most part they're pretty simple to get to there are some vehicles that you have to dig you have to go under the intake manifold to get to them um, or various other parts of the vehicle but for the most part these are pretty easy to access and the home mechanic should be able to do this now I'm going to hold it sideways a word of caution to home mechanics first word if you notice on this side in this side, the depth, I'm going to try and get this as good as possible. The depth is a little different, but they're pretty similar in how deep on both sides they are. Now, the reason I bring this up is always look how it was, always remember to look at the old thermostat to see what position it was sitting in. Was it sitting in the block as such with uh, the outside of the valve pointing up, or was it sitting in the block reversed like this, or was it in the side of the block as such? Was it reversed in the side of the block like that? That is very important because if you do not get that correct, you can cause the valve not to open, and if the valve doesn't open, you're never going to get coolant through the motor, and that will cause, not could, but will cause extreme and serious engine damage quick. So always remember to look and remember how this, what position this was in when you remove it before reinstalling the new one. If you suspect that this was installed incorrectly or don't believe it was working properly, always refer to a repair manual or, or whatnot. Uh, before just replacing it in the same direction. In some vehicles it's really nice because it'll only go in one direction because of the way the housing uh, is sitting. Uh, this is tapered. As you can see it's tapered on this side. So 
Sometimes the coverings will only fit on this side because of the taper, and if you try and put it on this way, it, it'll hit because this is the flat side, and the cover won't go on. So on those vehicles, it's nice and easy. Uh, but as far as that goes, always remember the direction this was sitting before you removed it. Another thing is, is a, I see this quite a bit in vehicles that I purchased and in vehicles that I've worked on. A lot of do-it-yourselfers and even some mechanics will, if they have a problem or suspect a problem with the thermostat, they'll just go ahead and remove it because the car was overheating. So they'll say, well, it's better that we just take it out so then coolant can flow. Well, here's three problems with that. First problem is, if you remove this thermostat, you're not going to have any heat. Your car will never heat up. So, if, especially if you live in a cold climate, that's going to be a deal breaker. So, this, without this, especially if you live in a cold climate, remember, you won't have heat. So, not a good idea. Secondly, no matter where you live, whether it's a hot climate, warm climate, doesn't matter. If you remove this and run without a thermostat, a major problem is, is your engine will never get to the correct operating temperature. It will not be running efficient. You will see fuel mileage decreases, increases in emissions. It's not a good situation to be in. So you really aren't going to want to run without these because it's going to cost you money. And the third reason, it's a $2.50 part. Just go and buy the part. It's not that expensive. They're relatively simple on most vehicles to put in. So it's worth it. Um, most new ones you buy uh, come as fail-safe units. That means if this one, this is an older model, so if this one were to fail, which means the wax pellet inside wasn't going to open, it would stay shut and it would cause an overheating issue in the vehicle. The new ones, if it's going to fail, it fails in the open position, so it will allow coolant through all the time which you will notice because for one you won't have heat like I said before gas mileage will go down, you won't be as efficient, your emission, emissions will go up you probably won't notice the emissions most likely you won't but you uh, you might not even notice the gas mileage at first but uh, you will notice that you won't have heat uh, so as far as that goes and your car will never get to the right temperature uh, on your temperature gauge so as far as that goes always put one of these in. It's a cheap part. It's well worth it. It protects your your uh, investment. Our cars are uh, very important. They provide a, a means of transportation for us. So it's worth the $2.50 to go ahead and replace this, get it fixed. Uh, I'm doing a major engine overhaul right now and I took this out the car did run before, and I know that this did not have a problem, but I'm completely overhauling the engine, and it would be silly of me, since I'm in there, to not spend an extra $2.50 to replace this car, just for the peace of mind, to know that I have a good thermostat in there. So, as far as that goes, that's its purpose, that's how they fail. Um, this is what it looks like. The only other piece of advice, tip I would say is, if it is mounted in the block as such, like on the side of the engine block or on the side of the head, uh, they will have what's called a jiggle pin in them. And you'll notice it's just a little piece of metal in a hole that jiggles. It'll make noise. So you can rattle it and you'll hear it rattling around the side, somewhere on the side of the thermostat. And that always goes to the top when you push it or when you put it back in in the housing, back in the side of the head or back on the block, the jiggle pin always goes to the top. That's going to allow air bubbles and air out so you don't get an airlock situation in your cooling system. You don't want air in the cooling system, uh, but this will prevent that. So always make sure if there is a jiggle pin, you put it towards the top, the north, whatever you want to say, towards the top of the motor. Um, but that would be it for thermostats. I have Another video I'm going to be posting here in a couple minutes. And aside from that, if anybody has any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to 
send me a message or post a comment on here and I'll be happy to, to get to all those questions and answer them as quickly as I possibly can.